Yo, what's up, YouTube? I hope all of you are having a great day so far. In today's upload, we are going to be going over the top five best setups that you should be using in Season 6 of Cold War. If you find this video helpful at all, make sure you hit that like button down below. It really helps me out. And if you are new to the channel and you want to see the best Cold War and Vanguard content, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below with the notifications on so you get notified whenever I upload. With all that said, let's get right into the first class setup. For the classes, I'm going to be giving you guys a 5 attachment setup as well as an A attachment setup. And so first, we'll do the A attachment and then we'll convert it into the 5 attachment. Also, so don't look at like the lethals, tacticals, the field upgrade, and the perks because that's not going to really matter. In this video, I'm just going to be giving you guys like 5 good primaries and then 5 good secondaries to use. The first weapon I want to show you guys is the grab. This is a new weapon that just came in the season 6 update and I believe you unlock it at tier 15. For the optic, I recommend you guys to do the microflex LED. For the muzzle, if you want to stay off the radar, I recommend doing the suppressor. If you're having a hard time controlling the recoil, I would do the agency or if you just want to have complete recoil control and you don't mind being on the radar, then I would do the SOCOM Eliminator. For the barrel, you want to do the Ranger Barrel. This is just going to maximize that ball velocity, making the gun feel like hit skin. You could do the Task Force, but it's not going to reduce the shots to kill, and it's just going to slow down that fire rate, and so for me personally, I really don't like it. For the body, you want to do the Tire Team Spotlight, just so it puts a red circle above the enemy's head, making it very easy to spot your enemies. For the Under Barrel, you want to do the Field Agent Grip, just to maximize that recoil control. It's going to allow you to hit more shots on the enemy. On the Magazine, you want to do the Grab 45 Round Special. This is just going to allow you to reel it really quick and have tons of extra ammo without having too many cons at all usually the salvo mag is actually going to hurt your adsb by like 20 30 percent but in this case it's only going to hurt it by 12 percent so it's a must use this mag you could do the rk 730 round conversion tied in with the task force barrel so you get a plus 12 percent but it's not going to reduce the shots to kill if the enemy's at full health and so i don't really find a purpose of it for the handle you want to do the airborne elastic wrap just to maximize the ads speed it's going to make the gun feel very snappy and on top of that we get some flinch resistance and we have the option to drop shot say you don't really care about that flinch resistance and you never a drop shot then i'll do the serpent wrap so there's not as many cons and lastly to bring up the cons of the airborne elastic wrap you want to do the raider stock we are going to lose some hit accuracy which is annoying but this is an ar and so it's not going to really matter and just in case you guys want to take a screenshot of the eight attachment grab setup here is the five attachment version of the galil now into the secondary the iron hide this thing is actually disgusting you need to try it out now before it gets nerfed for the muzzle you want to do the infantry v choke this is pretty much going to make the shot into like a slug pretty much so it's going to allow you to get way more one shot kill is because all the pellets are going to be more tight. You do have to be more accurate because there's less spread, but this is going to give you way more one-shot kills. For the barrel, you want to do the reinforced heavy just so you increase that fire rate and you increase the effect of the range range, allowing you to get more one-shot kills. And if needed, you can get a second shot off very quick. For the magazine, you want to do the standard eight-round tube just to maximize the ammo capacity. For the handle, so typically on shotguns, you don't really want to do the serpent wrap because you don't want to lose more sprint to fire speed. Since this gun is a shotgun, you're going to be using it like medium and close range, and so you need to have a higher sprint to fire speed but since you have to ads for this thing to be good you want to make sure you have a very quick snappy ads so in this case you want to use the serpent wrap and then to bring up the konzo we are going to be doing the no stock here's the screenshot for the best iron hide loadout with all that said that's going to wrap it up for the first class setup now onto the second one so the ar i chose is the ak-47 which is actually one of the best ars in the game recently if you didn't know the em2 actually just got a nerf and so now it's like the far the krig and the ak-47 are the best ars for the optic i like to do the microflex led for the muzzle because there's pretty much no recoil on the weapon i like to do the suppressor if you do want some recoil control i would do the group suppressor and say you don't care about staying off the radar then i would do the kgb eliminator for the barrel to maximize the bolt velocity you want to use the liberator barrel this is going to make the gun feel very nice because the bullets are going to leave the gun and hit the enemies almost instantly on the body you want to do the tire team spotlight just so it puts a red soak above the enemy's head making it very easy to spot them for the under barrel to eliminate the horizontal balance that this gun has you want to do the four grip on the magazine you want to do the 40 round speed mag just so you have a decently fast ads and you can really really quick with having extra ammo say you want more ammo and you don't mind a slightly slower ads then i'll do the vdv 50 round fast mag on the handle you want to do the guru elastic wrap just to bring up the cons of the magazine and then to bring up the cons of the guru elastic wrap you want to do the skeletal stock here is the screenshot for the eight attachment ak-47 setup and here is the five attachment ak-47 setup as you guys can see there's no recoil control on this setup and that's just because the gun has a very easy to control recoil if you want help controlling the recoil then i would swap out the suppressor for the Guru Suppressor or the KGB Eliminator. What you can also do is take off the Tire Team Spotlight and then add the regular foregrip. For the next secondary I want to show you, this is going to be the Amp. I believe this is actually the best secondary to run a Kimbo in. For the first attachment, you want to do the Infantry Compensator or the Sound Suppressor. With the Sound Suppressor, you're going to stay off the radar, but with the Infantry, you're going to be able to land more shots typically because there's less recoil. For the body, you want to do the SWAT 5 NW Laser Sight. We are losing ADS speed, but that's not going to matter because we have this thing in a Kimbo. For the magazine, you want to do the Salvo Mag just so you have extra ammo and you can really really 
it quick without hurting your ADSP because this is a Kimbo. For the magazine, you want to do the Salvo Mag just so you have extra ammo and you can really, really quick. You are losing ADSP, but that's not going to matter because we are using this in Akimbo. Here's the screenshot for the best Akimbo amp setup. The next gun I want to show you guys, this is going to be the PPSH. So the reason I want to show you guys the PPSH is because recently the Task Force Barrel and it just got a buff. And so it's actually going to take one less shot to kill if you use the Task Force Barrel, making it one of the fastest killing guns of the game. The, the recoil on it's a little bit weird, but it's pretty easy to get used to. It just takes a few games. For the first attachment on the optic, you want to do the Microflex LED. For the muzzle, because there is a lot of recoil with the Task Force Barrel, you want to do the KGB Eliminator or the Groove Suppressor. If you can control the recoil, the Groove Suppressor will be better because you are going to stay off the radar, but if you can't really control the recoil, you want to do the KGB Eliminator. For the barrel, you want to do the Task Force Barrel because it's going to reduce the TTK. On the body, you want to do the Stadium Laser because we are going to be throwing on a stock that's going to hurt the hit fire accuracy. For the underbarrel, you want to do the Spend as Grip just to maximize that recoil control. On the magazine, I recommend you guys to do the 40 round Speed Mag or the BDB 50 round Fast Mag. So the pros of the Fast Mag are a lot better, but you are going to have a slower ADS speed and for SMGs, I like to have a snappy ADS speed. So for me, I like to do the 40 round Speed Mag, but you might like the BDV and so I would try it out. And to bring up the ADS speed, you want to do the Gorilla Elastic Wrap. This is going to bring it up by 30%. There is some pretty big cons, but that's why for the stock, we are going to be doing the Raider stock. Here is the screenshot for the 8 attachment PPSH setup. And here is the 5 attachment PPSH setup. The next pistol I want to show you, this is going to be the Diamati. On the muzzle, you want to do the infantry commentary to help you control the recoil, or you can do the sound suppressor, but there is a decent amount of recoil, and so I like to do the infantry. You could do the SOCOM, but I don't like how it hurts your shooting movement speed. For the barrel, you want to do the task force barrel, and then for the body, you want to do the swap 5 MW laser sight. For the magazine, you want to do the salvo mags. As you guys can see, most of these pistol classes are the same, and so it's pretty much like a copy and paste. Here is the screenshot for the best Akimbo Diamati setup. The next class I want to show you, this is going to be a sniper class, and in my opinion, the Barrett is the best sniper. So the reason the Barrett's the best sniper is because it's semi-automatic and it has like the same damage almost as the Tundra. It's pretty much a semi-automatic Tundra. The Swiss will beat it sometimes, but overall this is like the best sniper. For the optic, you don't really need to run one, but if you do, I recommend trying out the axle arms. On the muzzle, because there is lots of sway with this weapon, you want to do the stabilizer, so it eliminates all the sway with no cons. For the barrel, you want to use the tire team barrel, so you maximize that damage, you're going to get less hit markers. And on top of that, it's going to increase the fire rate by 31%, which is amazing. On the body, just to put a red circle above the enemy's head, it's going to make it a lot easier to quit scope because it's like more of an object to line up with. You want to run the entire team spotlight. For the underbarrel, because this thing does have a lot of recoil, you want to do the bipod to eliminate that recoil. You could do another grip that's going to increase the movement speed, but it's kind of fun to hard scope, and so I recommend trying out the bipod first. On the magazine, you want to do the seven round mag or the fast mag, whichever one you prefer. On the handle to maximize the ADS speed, you want to do the serpent wrap. We are going to lose some sprint to fire speed, but that's okay because for the stock, we are going to be doing the CQB pad. Here is an overview of the best gunfighter M82 setup. Here is the class in case you want to use this with just five attachments. The next pistol I want to show you, this is going to be the 1911, and it's pretty much a copy and paste from before, but if you want a screenshot, here it is. The last class I want to show you, this is going to be the AK-74U. So the reason I chose the AK-74U is because this is like the most well-rounded gun. In most situations, if you have an AK-74U, you should be fine. So to start things off, on the optic, you want to do the Microflex LED. For the muzzle, you want to do the Gru Suppressor just to help you control the recoil, and it's going to give you some really nice clean iron sights. Although, that's not going to really matter with the sight, and so even if I'm running the gunfighter version, I won't run a sight on it. For the barrel, you want to do the Task Force Barrel, and the reason I like this one is because I can use this gun at like any range, and so I find myself challenging people across the map, and so the Task Force is going to make it a little bit easier. Say you don't like how it hurts your recoil control, then I would do the Liberator Barrel, this is the next best option. For the body, you want to do the Stadium Laser, so while you're hip firing, you can hit more shots. On the underbarrel, to compensate for the recoil that the Task Force Barrel gives us, you want to do the Spin as Grip. If you are running the Liberator Barrel instead of the Task Force Barrel, try out the Four Grip, this should be good enough. For the magazine, you want to do the 40 round speed mag or the VDB 50 round fast mag. On the handle, you want to do the Guru Elastic Wrap just to bring up the cons that the magazine gives us. We are losing lots of mobility, but that's okay because for the stock, we are going to be running the skeletal stock. Here is the screenshot for the best gunfighter AK 74U setup in Cold War. Here is the 5 attachment setup of the AK 74U. For the last secondary I want to go over, this is going to be the Magnums, and again, it's the same exact setup, so I'm just going to throw up an image on screen. With all that said, I think that is going to wrap it up for this video. Sorry for the boring video, but I'd like to do one of these at the beginning of every season. But so anyways, I hope you guys did find this video helpful. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will hopefully see you in my next video.